Hello Physical Fiends, it's Jordan here with another Worth of Purchase where I play a game for a short amount of time to see if I would buy it myself. Today it's a game I've been waiting like two years for at this point, Goblin Slayer Another Adventurer Nightmare Feast. A nightmare to say when your nose is as stuffy as mine. It's releasing digitally this week, but we are all about physical releases here at Physical Paradise, and this will have a physical copy fairly soon in December. But it is also quite complicated, so make sure you stick around for the latter half of this video, where I bring out the string and planning paper to try and explain it all to you. Firstly, what is this game? Well, it's a strategy RPG where there's a polar bear priest that wields a mace and smacks goblins with it. 10 out of 10. Okay, maybe not, but it is pretty decent. I am not familiar with the Goblin Slayer franchise, and if you're not too, I don't think you need to worry since jumping in, I think the game eases you into the world pretty well. Yeah, I've got lots of questions, wanting to know more, but I haven't felt lost. You get nuggets of lore here and there, and I felt pretty comfortable playing it pretty much blind. However, I do have to say, in a similar fashion to The Alchemist of Ars Magna, which I recently made a video about, I don't think I was quite prepared for how much of a visual novel this is, because the story sections with the visual novel style storytelling, boy, do they go on. Unlike Oz Manga, this is more like a 50-50 balance in terms of gameplay and storytelling, but there will be large sections where you're not getting to the meat of the gameplay. The story's not bad though, I've become interested in the characters, especially when a scantily clad vampire lady emerges. I would like to know more please. The dialogue is decent, the story pings around from place to place as you become the head of an adventurer's guild while also getting your hands dirty too. Once you do get to the gameplay, you'll find a serviceable tactical RPG. Sadly, turns aren't based on speed, which is what I prefer. Here you get to move all your characters first and then the enemy does so. So you have a lot of freedom and you can attack first and then move your character afterwards if you want. In fact, you can attack with one character first, do something with another character and then come back later to move the first one again. So it's really not rigid at all. There are plenty of job classes and your party will be filled with story related characters and recruitable fodder. And boy, wow, this game is pretty tough. When you first start the campaign, it offers you the normal mode or the story mode. It even says the normal mode was the original difficulty, which to me seems like the game launched in Japan and it was deemed too hard, so they made an easier mode. And I tried both, and while it's not as nightmarish as the title of the game may suggest, holy crap, the enemies do not pull punches in the beginning. You will lose people, like, very easily. And if they get taken down, it's not permadeath, but they won't get XP at the end of the battle. Which means in the next battle, they're going to be even worse off struggling to keep up. I like the fact that even the beginning battles, it doesn't make you go through the motions. You know, like most games these days, the first half a dozen fights you almost can't lose and you can already feel your mind wandering off and wondering when the tactical aspect of the genre is going to kick in. Well, it's straight away here, you, you must be careful. Aside from that, it does feel gimmick free for the most part, at least in my three hours or so with the game. You have normal attacks, magic spells, special attacks, everything seems pretty standard. But again, it's the challenge that keeps you focused because one false move and you may lose a fighter. I do like it. It toes the middle ground of not being overly complicated nor being overly basic. I just wish the story presentation was a little more to my tastes. If it was, I'd probably like this game a whole lot more. In terms of the physical edition, it's, uh, it's complicated. It's read out games. They always seem to overcomplicate their editions because between North America and Europe, there are six different SKUs. Okay, some of them are very minor differences, but different nonetheless. The three you get in North America are slightly different than the three you can get in Europe. So, bear with me. In both North America and Europe, there is going to be a standard retail release. You should be able to find it at select online stores in your region. However, now we get to exclusive stuff because in Europe, 
only at redartgames.com with the links down below in the description, you will see that for the same price as the standard edition, you can get the deluxe edition. This is limited to just 500 copies and includes the game, sticker sheet and two more bonuses, a soundtrack CD and an exclusive cover sleeve. And the soundtrack is pretty sweet by the way. If you want this, click the link below and you can get 10% off it with my code SWATCH10. That's at redartgames.com. This deluxe edition is exclusive to their website and I'm surprised they still have copies left of the 500 since it's been up for pre-order for a while so people have been sleeping on this. In North America, they have something similar exclusive to Video Games Plus linked below. They have a special edition which includes the sticker sheet and the soundtrack CD. However, it lacks the cover sleeve of the European Deluxe Edition. Normally, I would say that's a shame, but to be honest, that cover sleeve looks almost the same as the normal art, just characters rearranged differently. Quite uninventive considering this is a series known for art. I believe this is also limited to just 500 copies, but I can't find that on the listing for some reason, but I remember it from the last time I talked about this. And if you purchase this from Video Games Plus, they will give you instant free worldwide shipping, which is awesome. And just once again, these special and deluxe editions are the same price as the standard editions. If these are still in stock at the time you're watching this, there is no reason why you wouldn't purchase this one over the standard. Think of it as like a pre-order bonus kind of thing. Then we come to the collector's editions. Again, VGP and Red Art Games have North American and European collector's editions respectively. They are incredibly similar aside from one small difference, which I think is pretty insignificant in my opinion. Let me list what you get in them. For both regions, you get a steel case, not an official steel book, but probably decent enough. You get the sticker sheet, you get a double-sided poster, and you get an acrylic stand in a nice bigger box. Oddly, in neither the European or North American version do you get the soundtrack CD. This is a peculiar habit of Red Ark Games, not making the collector's edition the complete package. You can only get the soundtrack in the cheaper deluxe and special editions. And to be honest, the soundtrack is the most appealing thing to me. Very odd, and they keep doing this. And I know you're watching Red Ark Games, okay? Stop it. As I said, there is a difference, and it is that the European Collector's Edition comes with a minor DLC code for a playable character in the battle mode. For me, that's pretty much a nothing. So yeah, it's a bit confusing, but everything is linked below, and if you purchase something via those links, that supports me. Now, there is the question of the Japanese release, which was supposed to have English at launch in February. But a few months prior, it was announced English wouldn't be included at launch. I think due to the sheer amount of text in this game and Bushy Road's past very dodgy English translation, shall we say, they decided to actually put time and effort into it before unleashing English on the world. Because if you look back at some of their previous releases, like Buccaneer, whatever it's called, that English was utterly terrible in a comical way, but I don't think the IP owners of Goblin Slayer would be too pleased with that kind of effort on their product. A patch was supposed to come at a later date to add English to the Japanese cartridge. So far, it hasn't happened yet, and I have just asked multiple sources of mine for comments. Uh, I didn't get a response in time for this video, and to be fair, I didn't give them much time because, you know, I'm on a deadline here. But check the pinned comments because if I do get an update about that, I'll be sure to stick it in there. I know a handful of you are waiting with a sealed Japanese copy in your collection waiting to be played, so Hopefully, the English does arrive soon. Overall, would I purchase this myself? Yeah, I think I would. It's got me interested. It's certainly not to the levels of Final Fantasy Tactics, and you're a madman for thinking that it might be. And to be honest, I think Cross Tales, which is a cheap FF Tactics alternative already on the Switch, I think that is slightly superior to this, and it's cheaper too. But this is still pretty good. 
I appreciate the fact it's not a game that keels over at the beginning, even on story mode. Enemies hit hard. It's not a forgiving game and it keeps you on your toes rather than making you feel like you're going through the motions and on autopilot. Every move can really make a difference. The battlegrounds are lovely. The sprite work, gorgeous. The story presentation, I'm personally not a fan of, but, you know, for a visual novel style presentation, it's higher than I personally would expect. Also, the simple progression loop does feel like it's the spawn of an anime tie-in. Like, if you look at Bandai's anime stuff, it's, you know, it's kind of similar to that. But I do think, overall, it's a pretty decent tactical RPG, if you've got time for the story. But you can skip the story if you want to, just get straight to the battles. So, will you be picking this up? Are you familiar with the Goblin Slayer franchise? If you'd like to purchase the physical, please do so with the links in the description and pinned comment. And I thank you greatly for your support. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Take care.